Help. Don't leave me. Today is the seventh day since I finished uploading my last video to this channel. I have just been busy and it's just taken a bit of time just to pull myself together. Uh, I've actually almost finished this video. It's just been getting myself around to finishing it off. So I'll try and get back on track again. Uh, throughout this entire video, every single image here I have never shown you before. I have got a huge collection of uh, images from sites like Cheats and Eatsa and Tikal, which is in this one here, but I just decided to stick to showing you only images which I have never shown you before so we will just go with that uh, and it's mainly on the fact that just how buried are these sites I've said before the most important information on this is why I know that these sites were covered over because they were covered over in about two to three meters of silt and sand yes uh, you know with growth on top vegetation is because it would have to be because you're talking about a sloped edge here, right? So your soil and your sand, your silt could not build up naturally slowly. And that's because it would just wash down the sloped edge in weather, wind and rain naturally. So you've got the surrounding areas of sites like this that's on the screen uh, and they are completely buried. Now they're always level, completely level across the plain. Another thing is, it's difficult to say exactly what is buried around these sites, specifically this one anyway. We don't know how deep it goes, I don't for one, uh, but it does look like that the supposed pyramid shape here is far bigger, but there will also be an entire city that's buried underground. I have got some images of LiDAR. I know it's got the word light in its title, but they are able to scan to a few meters at least, so they're able to get a general idea uh, of what's buried underground. We can see here that they have spent most of their time digging up the left hand side of this image here they've left all the rubble all over the floor uh, because in my opinion it was smashed down all right they've just left it as they've been digging it up but in my opinion what you're looking at there is not even the bottom i mean at the end of the day they can only reveal so much of these sites they can only move so much material they can't dig up the entire valley can they Of course, people that have been with me for some time here, we always take into account what archaeologists could have turned each site into as they've been doing their work, right? They build things to a narrative, don't they? The museum narrative that they taught us in school, all right? I've got some images of the LiDAR here then, so when you look at down on this stuff, because it's all just in rubble underground, we can basically see that we're looking at expansive buildings you know with various floors here uh, i've not really put out a video or on this lidar imaging at all so it will be something that i will do eventually i just thought i would uh, begin here anyway it would be nice if you could share some of my videos just press the share button and for those that want to help me a little bit more there will be a link pinned comment in the comment section. I thank you all.